Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to make the CIT distort effect in After Effects. Before we get into the video, I just wanna say that 88% of you watching my content are not subscribed. I would really appreciate if you go down and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification to get notified when I upload a new video. So that being said, let's jump into it. Yo guys, we're back in After Effects. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the CIT distorted effect onto here to create this realistic CRT effect you will need a plugin called signal signal is a paid plugin so go ahead and get that and drag and drop it onto a clip when you apply signal onto a layer you already get this crazy realistic CRT distorted effect you can first so rock with this but if you want to customize much more under here, keep on with this video. This is just a signal, so it doesn't matter that much, this fellow. The signal amplification is a really cool one. This is a color distort. So if I bring it to 5, you can see how distort the image get. It just distort the colors of the image. And Luma noise is the noise of the footage if you want to add some noise into your footage just increase it in the highlights you can see you will get this crazy distorted noise then we have cut off the filter this is just a displacement map kind of distorted you can play with these values and get a suitable amount don't increase it too much so you don't have a choppy footage another really cool effect is this destruction button they just enable it and it will give this crazy thermal kind of effect onto your footage like if i just re reset all of these and just uh, enable the destruction button you can see like we already have the circuit bending kind of look on here like it is really cool i will turn this off for now and in luma modulation there's two things that are really cool in here the first one is face uh if you increase this it will give this uh kind of what should i call this uh stretching pixel kind of effect as you can see in highlights it just stretches some of those pixels and and decrease the blacks like this inverted the blacks and it doesn't look that much but uh, there's a setting called nightness in here so you can play with that to get the cool effect with those luma phase if i just increase the brightness you will see that the the distort goes away and you will get this crazy highlight distorts like this and that are the main settings of signals and how we can play with those signal settings to get the effect you want so that's it for today's video guys hit the like button if you like the video and follow me on instagram subscribe for more videos like this and see you later bye <laughs>